El par científic és investigació. Europark is an initiative of the University of Valencia Science Park. I like to work in science for multiple reasons. One is because it's fun, and the second one is we are in the frontier of knowledge. We set up experiments in the lab to find solutions about research questions that we usually ask. And the long term is that we contribute to find solutions for the humankind challenges. And the third reason to work in science is that we have a huge responsibility about communicating the facts, what's going on in the, in the world, what are the challenges that the humankind is facing, and fight against anti-scientific movements. And for that reason, we have a huge responsibility to communicate that to the citizens. I have two degrees, one of biology and another one in biochemistry by the University of Valencia. I was the first generation of students that we have to do the master uh, master sciences before starting a PhD program. Uh, my master was in molecular biology, cellular and genetics, the specialty in genetics. After I got my master's degree, I started my PhD in biotechnology at the Institute Cabanillo of Biodiversity and Evolutionary Biology that belongs to the University of Valencia. During my PhD, I was characterized in at the genomic level different fungi isolated from alcoholic beverages, especially yeast. During my PhD, I, I was in, in UK for six months. I enjoy a part of the fellowship, the FBI fellowship, is to do a short stay in UK, where I started to understand some processes that uh, at the molecular level of my yeast. Uh, when I finished my PhD, my first postdoc was in the US, in the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I was working there from 2012 to 2017. Later, I was able to go back to Spain, and I will talk a little bit about that later. And when I, my, my period in Spain finished, after two years, I was able to, to do a third postdoc in Norway, in the University of Oslo. In 2022, I got a, a grant from the Research Council of Norway and I was able to open a lab that I call it Fungal Genomics and Industrial Applications, which acronym is Fungia Lab. So it's running the Fungia Lab in Norway since 2022. However, at the same time, I got another grant from the Plan Gente of the Generalitat Valenciana, these fellowships that are called Sidegen and I was able to open a second lab in Spain, here in the Institute of Agrochemistry and Food Technology, that belongs to the CSIC institution. In the Fungia lab, we have four main research lines. The first research line is to go to the field and ask the next research questions. Where fungi is living, with who they are living, and what they are doing there. For that, we are happy to announce that together with Ana Maria Perez, the technician in the Fungi Lab. We are building a new training program that we call it Fungi Miner. So if there are undergraduate students or master students that wants to do a TFG and TFM in our lab, they are invited to apply for doing that. The second research line is to study the genomes of this fungi and other omic layers to understand the mechanism of speciation and mechanism of adaptation of this fungi to the field, to the wild environment. The third research line is the domestication of this fungi for the application in the production of sustainable, healthy and safe food products. At the same time, we want to build or promote a circular economy around the food system. The fourth research line, and not the least important, is that we are developing bioinformatic pipelines to study all the omic data that we are generating in our lab. The Fungia Lab is entering in the big data and the data science era. And as part of the Severo Ochoa Excellent Program granted to the Institute of Agrochemistry Food Technology, we are contributing to this main research line. Yes, I got a Marie Curie Fellowship in the reintegration panel when I was in doing my first postdoc in the US. So with that Marie Curie, I was able to come back to Spain. I joined to the Institute of Agrochemistry and Food Technology with a project that I call it Mitogression. During this period, that 
lasted from 2017 to 2019. I was able to train a master student, Laine Ramirez Aroca, and we published several papers related with the influence of the mitochondrial inheritance in interspecies hybrids. Being part of the University of Valencia Science Park, it has a lot of benefits. We have different infrastructures available for uh, setting our experiments. We have different disciplines, personnel, that can help us to address our research questions from different views, chemistry, evolution, physics, mathematics, data science. And also, we have the University of Valencia, where we have the opportunity to train the next generation of scientists. We have the opportunity to train those scientists for addressing the research questions that wants to find the solutions to the human kind challenges that we are facing right now.